Hi, John, and anybody else out there who's looking at the video. I'm probably wondering why there's an Abacus 18 on the on the screen when I'm talking about the DS30 bootloader. I'm actually using this as my testing hardware. I don't have a UART to USB converter, and I don't have a COM port on my new computer. So this little device will do just fine. I can plug it via a USB cable, and it's got the USB to UART converter, which is connected directly to the hardware uh, IOs on the microcontroller. On the other side over here, I actually have my Picket 2 connected so that I can flash the firmware of the initial bootloader onto it. So in MP Lab, I've made the appropriate changes that are listed on the site, and I'll just build this again. And in the Picket 2, I'm going to write the bootloader on there, so it's just got the bootloader and longer than normal verify it's doing the whole program the whole ROM yeah, so the bootloader is at the end there in Swordfish I have a simple program I've written up for the same microcontroller and I've actually created a build a program loader for the DS30 software uh, to do that you can go to view Compiler Program Options, Programmer, Install New Programmer, and I'll include the script that I used for that as well. Yeah, so the uh, program itself just sends through some through some text, and then a second line, and I've got this little phrase at the end here, ID zero, because I'm going to reprogram it afterwards and show you how to program after the initial. So the first the first time you program the device, it's already waiting, and it will work without any hitches. So I'm building it, I'm connected to COM port 21 through my script and it's just written to the device. So if I open up iHyperterminal, just a Visual Basic program that I'll include the link as well. I've got COM, COM port 21 selected, hit connect. I'm going to hit reset on my on my Amicus board which has got the DS30 loader and this program written onto it. And I'm going to hit reset. And there's my text. The program's working fine. So I'll hit disconnect because you can't have that port in use when you program the device. I'm going to change this ID here to a 1. I'll make it stand out a little bit more and make it a bigger number. So I'm going to rebuild and program the device. But this time I'm going to have 5 seconds to press the manual reset button. To reprogram the device and the DOS screen should come up soon the loader see it's waiting for it so I'll press the reset and now it's programmed so I'll go back to the hyper terminal I'm gonna hit connect and I'll hit reset on my DS30 program pick and there you can see the program has been changed to that so yeah overall it was pretty easy to do and I really like the um, the functionality of the DS30 bootloader because it just it allows so many devices to be used with just a couple of simple edits to the program.